Mm -hmm. Okay, first of all, thanks for doing this, Slice. I appreciate it. It's all good, man. How long has Buffalo Soldiers been in Hawaii? Uh, a Buffalo Soldiers Honolulu chapter has been in Hawaii since uh, 06. And we're, have you been the president? Uh, no, I wasn't the first president. I became the um, president in 08. We have chapters all over the United States. They lean back to the Calvary uh, back in the day, um, 1866. That's where it all began. They were named the Buffalo Soldiers by the Plains Indians because oh, okay. they were black and their coarse hair. Uh, they was always a, an elite fighting unit. They were like uh, first to go in, right? Always want to fight. Yeah. Always want to protect. We still have Buffalo Soldiers units in the Army today. Are many of the uh, Buffalo Soldiers in your club um, ex-military? In my chapter. In your, I'm sorry, in your chapter. Yes, sir. Um, I'd say about 80% of them is active duty. We have some um, retired, and we have mostly active duty. If someone wanted to join Buffalo Soldiers, your chapter, uh, what are the requirements? First, you got to have a motorcycle. <laughs> that helps. Okay. Any particular kind of motorcycle or? No, we don't discriminate on motorcycles. As long as your motorcycle can, can go 65, 70 miles an hour and keep up with the crew. Because we, uh, we have a guy with a speed bike. With a, um, we don't discriminate on bikes. Okay. You have to have a motorcycle and you have to ride with the crew first. Get to know everybody. Okay, once you get to know everybody, those same individuals that you get to know is the ones that's going to be voting you in. Is there a prospect period? Yes, the prospect period is uh, three months. The probationary period is six months. And after six months, you become a full member. If someone wanted to, let's say, guest ride, could they just show up and say, hey, Slice, you mind if I ride along? Yes, they can do that. Okay. And then uh, if they wanted to, um, it's called a hang around period. Yeah, I know that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's a good thing. Right. You got to know who you're bringing in your, in your uh, organization. I know Buffalo Soldiers does a lot of philanthropic work. You help the community, you do different things. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, we do community services uh, such as uh, security. Okay, uh, we do fundraisers. We do fundraisers to give back to the community. We, um, we buy school supplies to give to the kids, right? And uh, we, we're, we're linked up with the Pacific Knights on that one. We're not one percenters and we don't claim territory. It doesn't mean that you don't render respect because that's what we do in the biker community. Whether you're one percenter or not, you show up at the same function, you render that respect. How you doing? Are women allowed to be full patch members? Yes, sir. Yes. Women are allowed to be full patch members. Okay. My wife, uh, Spicy D, she's a full patch member. Um, the other female is an associate member of my VP, uh, Bones. But she had to go through everything that everybody else has to go through. Your wife? Yes. She used to be an associate member. Now she's an officer in the club. Uh, she's a treasurer. So are you pursuing other members or do you just kind of let things sit and when people come around? How does that work with new members? Well, um, a, lot of our, a lot of our members know people that ride. Like, say for instance, in the military, okay? If you know somebody, you can refer them to the club. <laughs> but as far as recruiting, we don't do that. Because our model is quality, not quantity. <laughs>